How are living things classified? Living things are classified into five groups called kingdoms. Organisms of the same kingdom share similarities and are different from organisms in other kingdoms. Here are some pictures of animals in the animal kingdom. A, br a brown throated sloth, a koala bear, and a Venus flytrap from the plant kingdom. Plant kingdom. Plants are multicellular. They make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Some parts of a cell are cytoplasm, nucleus, chloroplast, cell wall, cell membrane, vacuole, and mitochondria. A panda, also known as a giant panda, is a bear native to south central China. Pandas are classed as carnivores, although their they not 99% of their diet is bamboo. Animal Kingdom Animals are multicellular. Animals can't make their own food, so they get the energy they need to survive by feeding on other living things. Most animals have the ability to, to move. There are many differences between plant and animal cells. Here we have a puffin a North American flying squirrel and a golden retriever. The fungus kingdom. Fungi, plural of fungus, can be unicellular or multicellular. Fungi can't make their own food. They obtain nutrients they need from the remains of dead plants and animals. Yeasts are multicellular fungi. Mushrooms are multicellular fungi. The protist kingdom. Protists are usually unicellular, but some are multicellular. Most protists are found in water, such as red algae. Algae are protists that can be unicellular or multicellular. They also make their own food through photosynthesis. Green algae in China. The amoeba is an a unicellular protist, which takes in its food by absorbing it through the cell membrane. Monera Kingdom All organisms in this kingdom are unicellular. They are made up of a single cell. They can be found on land, in the air, in water and inside other living things. Bacteria belong to the Monera Kingdom. We use some bacteria to make food, such as cheese and yogurt. Some bacteria feed on dead plants and animals. But some bacteria can cause diseases, either because they end up in the wrong place in the body, or simply because they are designed to invade us. Did you know? Viruses are microscopic and can cause disease. Most scientists don't consider viruses living things because they don't take in nutrients, produce waste, don't grow, and they don't respond to stimuli. In order to produce, they must always be inside a living thing. The end.